So I'd like to talk uh, a little bit and share with you how domain services for Windows helps a Windows client or a Windows administrator, Windows environment access resources that are made available on a Linux box through Open Enterprise Server to them natively without any additional uh, changes to their client space. So typically a Windows client has its Windows uh, protocols and everything on there and in most cases um, the administrator uses something called Microsoft Management Console. The Management Console would talk to Active Directory, Active Directory being the domain services for the Windows domain environment. Uh, domain services for Windows actually begins to present the idea of an Active Directory domain server or domain space to the Windows client and the administrators and makes those servers available uh, if it's a, an OES2 Linux server, OES2 here, and multiple servers out here. These have resources that are made available and presented through eDirectory and regulate Active Directory so that when a Windows client wants to access a resource, they do so through Active Directory and gain access to that resource. Now the advantage here is that a Microsoft administrator who's used to using his tools can also provision or build uh, resources over here just as if it were a Windows server. So the idea of domain services for Windows is such that it creates the emulation, pretends to be Active Directory, and makes it simple for these Windows clients and Windows administrators to be able to access resources that reside on a Linux device on the back end.